Hello, welcome to my new and improved 3D geometry project. So, as you can see, it starts out with a tutorial showing you how to move and uh, interact with shapes. So, I'm going to go ahead and show off some of the new features. The first one being that you can go inside of the shapes uh, and see demonstrations. So, inside of the pyramid, I have a Pythagorean theorem demonstration with a right triangle showing how you can find this side length using the Pythagorean theorem. So, uh, I printed the Pythagorean theorem here and I provided the values for each of the sides. You can press G to increase the size of A, of the A length, and you can press H to decrease the size, and you can see that when I do that, C recalculates, um, and kids can use this as a concrete way to see how the sides are related. Going into the cube, I have a lot of information in the cube. So I have the side length, the surface area, the volume, and for the unit cube, I have its dimensions, side length, surface area, and volume. And I print the formulas for surface area and volume, and then I can press G and H to increase or decrease um, the size, the side length. And you can see that surface area and volume recalculate. The unit cube is right here, so you can see that approximately 4,000 of them fit inside of here. Um, and I guess that's more that's that's easier to visualize with the 11, uh, which is you know about a thousand of them in here. Uh, I, one thing that I thought was interesting that you can't see right now, but is that if I make the side length 6, then surface area and volume will be equal. Uh, I've clamped it at 11 being the minimum so that you can still fit inside and have a big space, but I think that a cube that is 6 by 6 is very interesting because you can examine how here the surface area is greater than the volume. Here the volume is greater than the surface area, and on a 6x6, the surface area equals the volume. Um, so that's what I have for now, and I'm looking forward to all of your feedback and suggestions. Thank you.